is the Sheila Castillo, your mommy's leg. So I'm here again to share you the part two of my journey coming to Canada. So two weeks ago, I uploaded a video um, regarding how I got my working visa coming to Canada. So that's the part one of my journey coming here. So in this video, I'll be sharing you how I got my family here. Uh, while my permanent residency is still on process. Getting that working visa coming to Canada is one of the greatest milestones I ever had. But the most challenging part is that being away from my family for two years since I got a two-year contract is one of the hardest or one of the challenging part in my life. I can't imagine how I was able to handle not seeing my family for like two years, especially my children. Before I hit my first year of working here in Canada, I've proposed to my husband that it is better to bring the family here because I find the place safer for the kids to grow up and I've seen how the government or the Canadian government support families in terms of education and healthcare. We both agreed then that the family is going to migrate here. But the big question is, how can I bring my family here in Canada since I'm only on a temporary work permit um, during that time? So these are the options that I have. In order for me to get my family here, I have to be a permanent resident. But during that time, like I mentioned, I was only on a non-skilled work permit. So that was a challenge again. And, but then there were four options to choose from. So I have to get a skilled work permit after my existing work permit. Or I have to be nominated um, by one of the provinces or territories in Canada. Or I can apply for the express entry or get a student visa. With the four options that I have mentioned, uh, getting the student visa is not an option for me because um, it takes a lot of money. It's very expensive to be an international student and I don't have enough savings by then. And getting into the express entry wasn't also an option for me because um, you need to have some proof of funds as well. And Luckily, I got this skilled work permit and the provincial nomination which made my application to get my family here um, easier. It just took me less than three months to wait for the provincial nomination from the Saskatchewan government. So after receiving the nomination, I applied right away for permanent residency. But um, it took time to wait also for your permanent residency. But waiting for that since my work permit is under the international skilled worker category, I was able to apply for a spousal visa for my husband and student visa or temporary visa for my children. With the spousal visa and the student visa of my children, it only took us three weeks to wait for that. So we are so blessed that God listened to our prayers that someday we will be together again. So here we are. We're here together, um, happily living now in Canada for almost seven years for me and five years with my 